Hello, everyone. How you doing? God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Praise God. I miss you guys. I miss my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to his name. I've been preaching, teaching, and reaching. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In short, I've been laboring. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what this is about. Not to mention I ain't had no voice. Oh, come on, somebody. Because when I preach and teach, I give it all I got. God, don't let them see me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to wait till people get on here. But, you know, sometimes that spirit fire just come out. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm just telling you, it's time out for all this foolishness. It's time out for it. It's time out. The king of God suffer violence, but the violent take it by force. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what was God saying? That they got some violent people in this kingdom. Oh, you think it's a game? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Um, thing at, let me tell you, the subject at hand. The subject at hand. So I put on my uh, Facebook post about the pastor that I went to two years ago. And um, there's always one. And, and I thank them. You see, I don't get mad. I want y'all to know. I don't get mad. I'm not that emotional to where when people post things, I got it. No, no, no. But what happens is there's something that speaks to my spirit. So everything is a setup. I need you to know everything's a setup. God be God sometimes when people say things and do things, you got to look deeper. Come on, somebody, because God would not allow it if God wasn't wanting something else to come up from it. And so it inspired me to say, you know, that's what's happening in our churches. This is what's happening in our churches. Um, I, I need y'all to, if y'all still hear me, because it looks like it stopped. So if somebody hear me, say something. Say loud and clear, mic check. You know I like to do that mic check. Praise God. Somebody say mic check or something if you can still hear me. Praise God. It's saying that my connection is weak. If you can still hear me, I need somebody to say something. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right, there you go. Praise God. So let me hurry up because y'all know they like to shut me off. Come on, let's be honest. And that's because I'm the real deal, baby. Ain't no arrogance, just confidence. Because guess what? I do this for real, baby. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. And I'm going to tell you why. Somebody helped save me. Somebody delivered. Them women in California, let me tell you something. God had to take me from Louisiana to California with some roughnecks. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, y'all don't think roughnecks just out there? No, they're in the church too. Those women, they girded me. They prayed with me. They told me the truth to my face. Hallelujah. And they showed me how to serve God. Hallelujah. And that's what's missing in the church. So let me get to the subject at hand. I'm getting tired of you new, new people in this church. This new church. You know, I know God has given us this grace. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for the grace and mercy. But one thing that the old church must never let die that the new church is trying to let die is that you can do what you want when you want to do it and I don't care if it was me by the way I get caught guess what step down Apostle Deanna Dixon the same thing go for you all y'all act like this a candy store well I'm here to put you all on notice there's a new ah uh, there's a new ah uh, there's a new raining baby and we're here we're not letting y'all get away with nothing. And that's from the top to the bottom, by the way. And guess what? We're really about to come hard. Because this is the last hour, and we're not going to let you take everybody to hell with you, acting hellish and holish at the same time. Which is not of God, by the way. Now, I went to this brother two years ago. You should have seen the whole thing. I didn't say the whole thing, how it happened. But I held my own. I mean, they was looking at me like, I don't know. Good thing I am strong. Just put it that way. But I know I was there to do what God called me to do. So they were looking at me. Even he was looking at me strange. I still stayed in my position. Because God says, say thus said the Lord. But that's not why I'm up here. I'm up here because I'm tired. I'm tired of this church attitude as if when somebody do something wrong, that it's okay. No, it's not okay. Hallelujah. It's not okay. Because if you're going to preach, if you're going to teach in God's name, do you better be holy, man or woman of God? Because if you don't notice, death is in the pulpit. If you don't notice, destruction is in the pulpit. If you don't notice, exposure is in the pulpit. That's if you don't notice it. And then y'all want to come up on people's page and say, well, who are you? I'm going to tell you who I am. 
My name is General Apostle Deanna Dixon. Watchman of the fold. Servant of the living God. And ain't scared of nobody or nothing. What? That's who I am. And guess what? Everything I teach and preach, it goes for me too. So don't come up on here thinking that you run nothing but your mouth. Because I'm going to tell it the way God said to tell it. And I'm going to say it the way God said to say it. And I don't care who don't like it. Because guess what? It's a new, new remnant that's here. And we have no fear. We're going to tell you you're lying to your face. We're going to call you out, man, woman of God. Because that's what this church has always been about. If you're going to preach it, live it. If you're going to live it, preach it. But quit playing with God's people. Because that's, that's what y'all need to be mad about. How many people are going to hell because they're following somebody that's living hellish. But y'all don't want to talk about that. You want to know why? Because y'all like the outside of the inside. Let me break that down for you. Clarity. Y'all like that money. Y'all like, look, like looking like, I got a rich church. I got a rich pastor. Uh, 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 uh. But you ain't got no holy pastor. You ain't got no holy woman or man or God. Y'all don't see people dying? Y'all don't see that the church is supposed to be an example for the world. And yet the world is being an example for the church. Y'all don't see that? Am I the only one that see that? And then y'all don't want nobody to say nothing. Especially if they're homosexual. Or especially if they're nasty. The devil is a lie. Because guess what? I'm not the only one. God is raising up some men and women. Oh, you think I'm crazy? You ain't seen nothing yet, honey. Because God gonna turn them up ten times more. You don't hear what I'm saying. The church came in power and it's going out in power. Power of the Holy Ghost. And can I tell you something? God gives us chance after chance after chance because he did it to me. God, is, first of all, the Holy Spirit will tell you, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. If you don't, then God will send somebody. So really, when a person goes, you've already been dis disobedient. And then God will still wait. But you know what it is? Y'all like to keep playing. I call it the Samson and Delilah effect. You like to keep playing with Delilah. Oh, yeah, you, you do. Because guess what? It, it ain't got a hold to you. That temptation ain't got a hold on. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody want to hear the truth. Ain't nobody want to hear the truth up in here today. But I'm here to tell you. I'm going to keep it real. I'm Because this is, you see, this is almost like an altar. Whenever you get before people, God's people, and that's what y'all new school people don't know, it's an altar. This ain't no, this ain't no entertainment. I know you think because it's Facebook Live, it's entertainment, and that's what they want y'all to think. Why y'all think people dying up on here? Why you think people all of a sudden are putting Facebook live and killing themselves? Everything's a spirit. That's them spirits they put on y'all. Oh, come on, somebody. The church don't even want to talk about spirits. Wonder why people dying. Because the church is not addressing what's really going on. And that is y'all got some demons. Y'all don't want to talk about it. But then I understand because a demon can't cast out a demon. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And most of y'all leaders, Demons. Oh, yeah, they got money. Yeah, they got cars. But they demons. And now God is sending in real people, real apostles, real prophets. That the people, might, they're not going to like all. Oh, no, they ain't going to like you. Not if you're real. They ain't going to like you if you're real. Come on, somebody. They ain't going to like you if you're real because you guess what? Because you see them. Oh, come on, somebody. You see them. You see them. You see them. Hallelujah. And, and when people are in sin, they like to hide. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Heck yeah, I'm going to expose it. I'm going to put it on Facebook, open book, look book. And if they have another book, I'll put it on there too. What's wrong with you? You don't run nothing. I'm going to expose anything, anybody. And here's the deal. You have the right to expose me too if you catch me into something that I ain't got no business in. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Serious? Y'all got the right one. Not the wrong one, the right one. God picked me for a reason. You don't see that? You better back back, give me 50 feet. Because I'm here for real. God has been too good to me. And hold on. Let me clarify this. It is not with hate. It is not with manipulation. It is not with, how could I say this, Lord? Even a derogatory 
aspect of it all. You know what God is doing? He's showing you what not to do. While you're sitting up there talking about, well, who are you? And who God is showing you what not to do. I said this last year. I said God is exposing, He is allowing people to expose themselves. Anybody found that prophecy, go ahead and, and, and bring it back to me. You know what I'm saying? If y'all have it. Because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have time to go back to last year. But I said this last year. I said God said that he is allowing people to expose themselves. You, you don't understand what that means, huh? Y'all don't see what's happening? Because God has said, he said, I'm coming for a spotless and blameless church. Do you think he don't mean that? So, excuse me. And, and you know, um, I preached so hard this weekend. I don't know if y'all see me. I'm sweating and everything because I still, my voice just coming back. I lost my voice, honestly. But um, I, I can't stop. There's something inside of me, especially when I see this order. Because if y'all haven't noticed, if y'all don't know the spirit that I walk in, it is the spirit of Elijah, which is correction. Which y'all fail to realize God correct me every time. I'm talking about it could be just something small. It ain't going to be nothing big because I don't play with God. I ain't crazy. Oh, come on, somebody. I ain't going to prove. <laughs> you don't hear me? God, God is not to be played with. I learned that a long time ago. So don't think that I'm just coming and trying to hurt my brothers and sisters. No, I'm trying to even warn you. Stop playing with God. Especially in this hour. Because God is trying to get something to his people. And he will not let just anybody tame his people. And if you don't believe me, just keep living. And keep watching Oh Facebook Live. Well, I tell you. Yeah, they're crazy. So, all right, I got to go teach my class. I'll be back because I have some other stuff I want to say. By the Spirit. That's another thing. Don't think I just get up on here and be mad. No, no. I pray. Like, I just got to talking to God. I don't ever just get up on here. I don't have the right. I don't have the right to taint God's people. You see, that's what you don't understand. Everything's a spirit. Everything you spew out, even in church, even through this live feed, is a spirit. And it better be the right spirit before God's people are God going to deal with you. But hey, they don't teach y'all that no more. But they teach y'all this. Just have, you have a platform, go for it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Honey, you better make sure that God told you to say when he said what he said, what you say he said. Hmm. And the ones that come against me, can I tell y'all something? Y'all just fuel me up. Y'all don't see that? It, 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 I just take that and chew that and... <laughs> because if God is happy with me, then I'm all right with it. I ain't mad at y'all, but but I'm coming. You know I'm going to come, right? You know I'm going to come. Come for me. I come for you. What you think this is? <laughs> anyway, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, yeah. Y'all didn't know? It says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So I'm trying to speak knowledge to you. Some of y'all just don't want to hear it, and that's fine. But I'm not going to be caught not saying it and not doing it. So God bless you. God keep you. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I haven't said it in a long time. So roll out, soldiers. God bless.